All right, I'm here today with Rich Howard, the owner of this beautiful 1914 home at 21 The Prado. He bought it in 2022 and immediately began addressing some of the structural needs. His goal is to restore the home to its original beauty. So Rich, tell me what led you to make the decision to keep your windows instead of replacing them. When I first moved into this house, I looked at the windows and it was part of the reason why I fell in love with this house. These are all original windows that came with the house. They are original wood frames and they contain the original sash counterweights. However, none of the windows actually worked. So all of the windows were either painted shut or the lead weights were no longer attached to the windows. And so I had a bunch of contractors coming around trying to quote me to replace all of the windows with brand new windows. And I thought the quality of the original windows was much higher than anything that they could be replaced with. And so I decided I was going to try and find a way to restore them. That's fantastic. You know, I know you did a little bit of research um, on that topic of the quality of the old windows. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you found out in that process about window quality and why it does make sense to keep the original windows, even if you could get completely new ones. Yeah, the when we eventually stripped all of these windows back to the bare wood and uh, saw what was underneath them, it was very high quality long leaf hardwood pine. And the fact that these windows have stood the test of time and lasted over a hundred years really suggested to me that provided the wood was still in really good condition, we would be able to go back and restore them. Not only that, but a lot of the windows also had original wavy glass. So around the period, I think in about the 1960s, they came up with more um, efficient ways of making uh, float glass, which effectively had no uh, forms or defects in them. However, the, the wavy glass that you see inside of these original windows, it adds a different dimension to the light that comes in and so I've been working really hard to either try and save all of the original glass or where I haven't been able to save the glass uh, to bring in a replica wavy glass to add to these windows. That's fantastic. You know, the windows certainly are beautiful, but I bet people are wondering how they work. I think a lot of people fear that old windows aren't going to open and close smoothly or lock or function the way they want. So yeah. I know this window right here is nearly complete. Why don't you show us how it works? Absolutely. So the this window at this point has been uh, fully restored. To bring it up to the 21st century, what we've done is to add a little bit of uh, different window hardware into the mix. And so uh, the first thing that I have up here is what is called a Brighton screw. And the Brighton screw is a locking mechanism for the window, uh, which is very easy to open and close. And so you simply turn this here and then this catches up. And then I've also installed uh, down here uh, these handles that I can use to very easily lower and close the windows. Additionally, it's really important to be able to move the upper sash of the window as well. And so what I've done is to install these upper sash lifts, which I can use to pull this down as well. So by having the windows in this configuration, this is one of the real benefits of having sash windows, is that you can open a portion of the upper sash and a portion of the lower sash. And when you are trying to cool your house, what you will effectively get is a convection current that goes around the window. And so this is a way in which um, the homeowners here would have traditionally tried to keep their houses cool. Fantastic. Well, you know, probably not everybody thinks they have the wherewithal to do this type of work. Tell me how you went about getting your windows back into good working order. I certainly didn't do a lot of the work myself. I, I employed a, a master carpenter uh, to come in and help me with this project. And as you can imagine, it was a big project. I have uh, 25 sets of original double hung sash windows in this house and so every single window required some level of effort in order to restore it and the restoration process that I went through was pretty extensive so 
Every single window in this house has been fully deglazed. That is that we've removed all of the glass and the putty from the windows. They've all been sanded and all of the layers of paint that have been added on over the years were taken back so that we could get a very nice smooth surface. At that point, each of the windows was uh, reglazed. In some cases, some of the glazing was uh, changed where we had more modern glass. We then replaced it back for antique glass again um, and then repartied. And so this really should mean that these windows, provided none of the panes actually break, will last hopefully for the next 80 to 100 years again. So. That's fantastic. And, you know, when you talk about the fact that these windows were built with good quality and old growth wood in the first place, and they've got the brass hardware, and you've restored the parts that do wear over time, I think it's a really important point that these windows are prepared to last longer than most new replacement windows that mm -hmm. are often advertised at, you know, something from a lifespan of maybe 20 to 50 years. So yeah. what can you say about the cost or the investment you've made from that standpoint? Because I think people fear that mm -hmm. what you've done here is actually going to cost more than replacement windows. But I'm wondering what your research said about that. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. You know, I was I was looking into cost and my understanding was that you could pay anywhere between $300 and $1,200 for a set of replacement windows, including the, the labor work. And so the, my understanding as well is that, you know, those windows may last, you know, anywhere between 15 and 30 or 40 years. These windows, I probably spent about $1,000 each on the restoration work for each individual window. And so while the cost was the cost was high, it was very labor intensive work. It was actually very uh, low from a materials perspective. Mm -hmm. So, so I have two, two really good things about that. Um, one is that uh, it's much more environmentally friendly because you're not having to throw all of these windows away and then replace it with new windows that are then going to uh, effectively uh, break and need to be replaced again in say another 30 years um, and um, you know these windows have really kind of stood the test of time so they're a proven product with this house they're, they're original to the house they, they match with the style of the house they are uh, built and made to fit perfectly for each of the individual spaces Mm -hmm. Well, they certainly are beautiful, and um, my guess would be if you got windows with these beautiful wood mullions and the quality, it might have even exceeded the cost of restoring them. So I think that's going to encourage a lot of people to look into it. Now, if other people aren't as lucky to know of a craftsman to do this kind of work, the Atlanta Preservation Center can provide guidance to find one. So uh, people don't have to go it alone. So. What else do you want to say in closing, Rich, about this process of restoring your windows or anything you would want people to know? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think you bring up a good point about the mullions. So each of the upper sections in my house has a series of anywhere between four and six mullions. And the mullions themselves actually added a lot of time and complexity to the process. Uh, restoring the original windows that uh, don't have the mullion bars in the windows will take a lot less time and a lot less resource and so I would say that my house was an extreme case. What I will say as well is that you know the, um, the resulting set of windows that I have now are perfectly matching with the house, they're in keeping with the period and I absolutely love them. Well, thank you so much, Rich, and I'm really excited to come back and see when you have the rest of your home restored. This is one of many projects, and I have no doubt you're not only going to return this home to its original 1914 glory, but you're going to prepare it for its next 100 plus years. So thanks so much for talking to us today. Thanks, Thank you for your time.